here if there is, has been any. I would say that David Cook would just uh, continue with what he's got. Jim Haby still in there with Nathan McClure, Nathan Lewis and Tom Seljak. And uh, Scott Bowles still in the ruck for Bannockburn. We see him moving into the middle now also. So, and the umpires are on in that first quarter. Yeah. Mark out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Mr. Couple. <laughs> Maybe and you're still giving them 10. Well, you're, you're, well yeah. You're charitable I, today, Ron. That's well, good to hear. Very impressed. They're very good on the whistle. They're, uh, well, the game's been pretty good, Jason. And, and uh, I think uh, if the players are allowed to play the ball and you reward the person making the, the play, you're going to see a good game of footy. And they've let it go. Only paid the obvious. And as I said, they may have missed a high tackle on Johnny Drysdale in that uh, back pocket, which uh, ended up costing Benning Burn a goal. But other than that, they've done, uh, yeah, their performance is very admirable so far here this afternoon. Back in the centre now for the start of the second quarter. 22 points of difference, Benning Burn having the lead. And as we start the second quarter now, umpire Maxwell to bounce the ball. McClure and Scott Bowl. Bannockburn going to the southern or city end of Myers Reserve. Bowl gets the first tap down towards Flanagan. He's wrapped up by Spelljack. Gets one high. And will take the free kick in the middle of the ground. Plays on quickly as they always do. Bannockburn goes out wide. And it's now play on. So the players didn't know what was happening there. The whistle went, but uh, now play on. Della Hunt gets away from Kelly. Right foot kick around his shoulder towards Clinton Shaw. Can he make it? He can do so in front of Batty. And he's in the right forward pocket for Bannockburn. So both sides not knowing what was going on there for a little minute. Umpire Duthie called play on and Delahunt got the ball around to Clinton Shaw. He's kicked one goal this afternoon already. So he comes in now from 35 out. Goes with his right boot. Has he? No, he's missed it to the near side. In fact, he's missed everything because it's out of bounds on the full and a resultant free kick for Bell Post Hill. Very tough to kick goals from the right forward pocket out here at Myers Reserve as Clinton Shaw has just found out. It's even tougher with wind, so uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> would have been a little bit easier for him today. Batty now from the right back pocket goes long towards Kelly, getting up in front, east behind. Clinton Shaw, can he trap it? Bell Post still got the numbers at the bottom of the pack there. Clinton Shaw gets a handball out towards the runner, Troy Collager. Good pick up too. Now he's back in towards the Shaw position, goes back in there looking for Andrews, but getting back there, Cameron Carr in the last line of defence for Bell Post Hill. Yeah, very good pair of hands, Cameron Carr. Reliable defender. This time I like to kick out. I don't know where he's kicked the ball because he's kicked it straight down the throat of Steve Winter, who has taken a very easy mark. Plays on now. Brings the ball back there looking for the lead of, oh, Andrews at the back of the back. Got to be in front. Good work at ground level. Matty Lewis mops up the bell post still, but, gee whiz, no pressure on that occasion either. And uh, Matty Lewis has kicked it out of bounds in the full. He has. So Winter again for his second kick in 30 seconds goes across the ground towards Matty East. Loses a bit of ground. Now he goes back to winner. So they're playing kick to kick and racking up possessions here. Bannock Burn. Short little kick over the top. Leading out there, Della Hunt. Over his head, Kelly sees it over the boundary line for Bell Post still. So about 35 metres around, out of side. Bannock Burn in attack. Well, now, it's interesting, isn't it? Because both those players you just called, Matthew, uh, Matthew East and Steve Winter, have still got no one on them. They haven't been picked up there. Ruck throw in, bowl, gets it back towards the boundary line and Nathan McClure can't keep it in, so another boundary throw in. And we see Matty Pilgrim also hasn't got anybody on him. He has now. Habe's gone back and Cameron Carr is on winter. So a pack around the boundary throw in. McClure up. Over the back there was Flanagan. Colleger in the middle of the pack there. Andrew's also there. Can't keep it in. Another boundary throw in. So the boundary umpire, a bit of work to do. And Benning Duke player on the ground. Could be the big man it is. Scott Bowl is on the ground, so boundary throw-in will be contested by Shane Andrews. Also getting up there was Della Hunt. Bell post still now. Matty Lewis has to sit and wait for the handball. He gets it out now towards Spelljack. In fact, it's Haby at half-back. Turns around on his right boot, goes long. Roweth now will lead in the race of the ball. Can he pick it up? He can in front of Wall. Sits, waits, goes short towards Matty East in the centre and finds him. I tell you what, Scotty Bowles in a bit of trouble. He's still laying face down at uh, the forward pocket for Benny Boone. Could be a big loss for them as Wayne Collager takes the footy. Well, he played on foolishly there. Great tackle. Glenn Travail and has been penalised. Goes towards Spelljack. Puts him under a bit of pressure. Goes long. Poor kick. No vision. Goes out towards centre half back. And Smith, East, can he trap it? He can at the second attempt. Can he? No, he can't. Good pressure there. Well done by Feldman. Roweth, though. Good handball. Wentworth tries to kick long. Short little kick, though, in fact. Bounces up towards 
Carr runs across half-back. Poor handball. Going to put Scooter under pressure. In fact, Carr comes at it himself. He's shepherded by Scooter, but forgot to pick the ball up at half-forward. And boundary. In fact, the central umpire will come in. That's umpire Duthie. And we're just looking at Scott Ball over the back. He doesn't look too good limping off the ground. Yes, yeah, certainly. Big loss for the Bannockburn side. And this could have a telling effect... Uh on midfield results here this afternoon as we see now that Flanagan does well on the ruck. Got it to Delahunt who got one for his trouble. Loose ball now to the forward flank. Oh, Wayne Collager couldn't handle the ball cleanly. Travail was there, tapped at four, but it's been stolen by Ronnie Pilgrim who loves to mop these up, but oh, he's missed that one to the right. And uh, another bad miss there for Ronnie Pilgrim for the Bannockburn side. Uh, should have done it a little better on that occasion, Jason. He certainly should have. He's in open space. Wayne Collager doing the uh, shepherding. As we see, Batty coming off for Bell Post Hill and we're going to be replaced by David Gibbs. So Batty was at centre half back on Clinton Short. The kick in now from Nathan Le from Matthew Lewis goes long or oh, two out. Kelly was against Clinton Shaw and also Della Hunt. Can't take the mark though. Pilgrim taps it towards Winter. Chris Kelly getting back there at centre half back for Bell Post Hill. Jumps on the ball and the umpire will come in and bounce it. Scott Bolt. Retreating to the boundary line, a long walk for him on that one and a half legs there. Eight and a half minutes gone to the second turn. There's only been one point scored, that's been by Bannockburn. They lead 6 2 38. Bell Post still 2 3 15. Balls at half four day for Bannockburn. Ronnie Pilgrim, quick kick off the ground. I think he might have finished it off. He has. Stormy Winner gave him the handball and he's finished it off nicely. So, a goal to Ronnie Pilgrim, his second, and uh, Ronnie Brain. If there's eight and a half minutes gone in this second quarter, I am losing track of time. Has it gone that quick, is it? Four minutes, I reckon, mate. Four minutes? Four minutes. Has it gone that quick, do you think? Four minutes. We're both pretty good football out here at the Mys Reserve. I think we started just on three o'clock. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Back to the centre after that goal from Honey Pilgrim. And Jared Breed has come on for Scott Bowl. And we haven't seen this man play. Didn't play against uh, Thompson, but he's a big boy because he's gone straight to the ruck up against Nathan McClure. Oh, the umpire in the middle is over also. So the boundary and central umpire is having a bit of a bad time of it this afternoon. Tapped out by Della Hunt, though. Falls towards Sean Lewis. Left foot kick around the corner. White leads out. Has to sit and wait. Getting back there. Alistair Broad. Bartolo gets back there for Bell Post Hill. Good play by him to keep the pressure on Broad. Pushed it towards the boundary line and finds the safety of it. About 30 metres around from the Bell Post Hill goal. And Breed running down there towards the, uh, the ruck contest against Paul Miller. Big boy. Certainly. He certainly is, Jason. Getting back there now with Paul Miller to do the ruck work. Miller in front, tries to take it out of the ruck, can't do so. Felbin's there, breaks two tackles, short little kick, good vision. Spell jackets and half forward. And the little man will have a kick for goal. Outside 50, be a fair kick for him. They need it. 2 3 15 trail. 7 2.44, goes long towards the goal line. Tapped through, though, for one behind. Good defensive play there from Nathan Rose. And concedes the behind to Bell Post Hill. Tried the big spiral torpedo to young Tommy Sveljak, but didn't quite get hold of it. And uh, some good defensive football there. Bannockburn rushing the minor score. As we wait, Paul Smith, the uh, assistant coach, brings the ball back into play. Finds Ronnie Pilgrim in the pocket. Good support from uh, Collager. That's Troy. Lovely kick to the centre of the ground. Bit of brotherly love there finds Wayne. Wayne Collager now pumps up the centre half forward. Looks to Stevie Witter. Couldn't hold it, but a ground level. Put Shaw swoops oh, in. Shoots from 45 word. metres. Uh, oh, great looking kick from here, but it's just offline. And uh, a little bit of misfortune there for that panic for half forward because it was a great passage of footy. Moved the ball beautifully again through the midfield. Kick out by Nathan Lewis on this occasion towards, in fact, Matthew Lewis again towards David Wall. Rowett tackled. Scooter butters up towards Nathan Lewis now. Is at half back, close to the boundary line, takes the bounce. Can he keep it in? He died. I don't, didn't think he did, but the boundary umpire said he did. Brett Feldman takes the mark, plays on quickly, gives it back to Wall. Left foot kick by him, open forward line. White comes out now, leads in the race of the ball. Gets around, college are tackled though, out towards Spelljack. Bounces over his head, Broad runs straight at it, can't take it with him. Stacks on the middle at centre-half back. Getting back there was Corey Flanagan. Can he pick it up? He can't do so. He's at the bottom of the pack now. Spelljack's with him, also Travail. And a ball up at centre-half forward for Bell Post Hill. Interesting contest, uh, Paul Smith, Brett Feldman. Yes. Two good footballers there. Feldman from the GFL with St Mary's, we said, and Paul Smith has played at uh, North Shore and Port Arlington. And... Uh, Ronnie, you keep your eye on the uh, 
Frackar at centre half forward. I'll keep the eye on the play. Comes up towards Wayne College and also Chris Kelly in the middle of the ground. Chris Kelly now goes wide towards Sean Lewis. Matthew East gets back there, can't trap it. The young man, though, can Sean Lewis. Right foot kick, one out in the goal square. Coming up there was Nathan Rose. Good play by him. Troy College, he gets back there. He's got two out here. All by so. In fact, he's got three because he's got Corey Flanagan. And he goes towards half back with him. He's got two on the wing position. He goes up in the middle of the ground, though, towards Matty Pilgrim, who takes a good diving mark. And he's still got two runners on the outside. Wayne College is one of them. But Matty Pilgrim held up by Nathan Lewis there. Goes wide towards Paul Smith. Now, good kick by him up towards Winner. Scooter was in front, kicked it over his head, and Stormy Winner takes the mark, tries to play for the 50, doesn't get it, and he'll kick from half forward. So, Ronnie, a bit of action on the half forward flank there. Probably a nil-all draw, I'd suggest, Jason, but uh, yes, I think uh, young Christian Scooter has got a little bit of a left eye. Winter now goes up along with his right boot. He's missed it to the far side. Oh, good mark, though, in the middle of the pack. It's easy as I like Shane Andrews. And it takes it five metres out. And we'll have no trouble in putting this straight through the middle. And Christian Scooter now coming towards the commentary box and also the Bell Post Hill uh, coach's box and uh, has got a very swollen left eye. So we see Mitch Mickey Machevic, the nose picker, comes uh, up towards the bench and he'll come on for Christian Scooter. will come off. Shane Andrews runs in and kicks his second goal. In fact, his first goal. So, one to Shane Andrews. Took a good mark in the middle of the pack there and pushes Panic Burn further in front there. 8 3 51, and they lead a bell post till 2 3 15 by 36 points on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. Yes, comfortable lead bell post. Oh, I should say Benny Burn here on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter. And uh, it's just uh, a little tip for bell post till maybe concentrate on the footy because uh, they'll lose both if they're not careful. They certainly will. Good move through midfield again from Benny Burn. They've got to try and trap those players and cut them out. The uh, bell post till midfield. Nine and a half minutes gone in this first in this second quarter, and we see Paul Miller coming off also for Bell Post Hill to be replaced by Batty at centre half forward. So the big man's gone from centre half back to centre half forward, and back in the centre now. Umpire Maxwell to bounce the ball. He does so. McClure still in the ruck, has to go up against Flanagan on this occasion. David Wall taps it towards a pack with Glenn Travail and also Corey Flanagan in there. So. Still in the middle of the ground. Six goals of difference here. GDFL match of the day. Last to get up, Glenn Travail. And umpire Maxwell will come in and bounce it again. Jared Breed in the ruck now for Bannockburn. Goes up with McClure Breed. Good thump away. And good tap away also there by Darren Roweth. Up towards the lead of Andrews. Traps it. Can he get around? Turning circle like a king worth the big man. Handball out though is good. He's got support. Who was that? That was Butshaw. Handball back in towards Lewis. Chris Kelly taps it out to the wide open bases. Shane Andrews is there. He's on 50. Turns around close towards the boundary line. Left foot kick up long. Oh, good mark. Stands, stands his ground. Steve Delahunt. And he's in the forward pocket. Turns around quickly. Plays on. Short little kick towards winner. No, he's going to have to come back and take his kick. In fact, it might have been out of bounds on the full. Yeah, disappointing from uh, a Bannyburn point of view. But... Uh Yes, I think you'll find that the free kick is going to Cameron Carr, the back pocket player for the Bell Post Hill side. And, uh, he comes in there with a big spiral torpedo. It's a beauty. He kicked it a good 60 metres. High flyers can't take the footy. Ground level now. Sees but sure. Paddle it forward. Lost his footy at the crucial time. Oh, could have been thrown out. Yes, it was, said the umpire, as Clinton Shaw went to take off. And uh, the free kick will go there. It's like one of the Lewis boys. It is. It's Nathan, I would say. Plays on now, takes a bounce at half back, tries to kick it across the ground. Oh, Batty over his head. Oh, mistake again. Ronnie Pilgrim runs through the centre and look at he's got runners. Henderson and East. Henderson it is. Gets around on his right boot. Goes, sets it up towards Winter. He's behind. Great tap on though. Has he got the players there? He hasn't. Cameron Carr goes to the safety of the boundary line and finds a good defensive play from Cameron Carr. Yeah, it was good footy. Uh, probably could have looked forward though because he had Sean Lewis and also uh, back on the ground, Paul Miller. Loose there at centre wing, uh, back for the hill, but didn't see them and uh, elected to go to the boundary line. A boundary throw in now, sees an opportunity back in the back. Jimmy Haby picks the footy up, but didn't look where he was kicking at all. 
and uh, kick it straight down the throat there of Paul Smith, the assistant coach for the Batty Perth side. Goes towards centre half forward. Andrews leads a long way out. Miller's on him now. Goes up. He's got three against him. Batty was also there. Flanagan, good pick up. Or oh, he can turn around. Left foot kick long. Jared Bree can get back there, but he might have kicked the goal anyway. No, it's one behind. It's just missed to the near side. So one behind to Corey Flanagan. And uh, they've had most of the play in this second quarter, which is now 12 minutes old. So the Tigers doing quite well. 8-4-52, they lead. Bell post till 2-3-15. GDFL bingo centre second quarter scoreboard. Paul Miller do the kicking in now. Kicks grandstand side for Nathan Lewis. Wayne Collager against him. Lewis gets one hand to it and just trickles it over the boundary line for a throw in at half forward for Bannockburn. Nathan Lewis and Sean Lewis both there for the ruck contest. Jared Breed up against McClure. Breed's got a good couple of inches over him. Can't get a hand to it on this occasion. McClure falls to the bottom of the pack and wraps it up. The umpire will come in and bounce the ball. Yes, the big fella Breed. He's a big uh, boy, isn't he? Very athletic type, but uh, obviously a little inexperienced because uh, he's not using his body to his uh, full advantage at the present time. This time he thumps the ball towards the Benny Burn goal, but it's all bell posed till. Brett Feldman mops up well for the hill. Breaks through half back, good footy. Kicks long, Sveljek in front. Should have been free kick. Uh, for the high tackle. No, but the loose ball now goes to Batty. He looks up there for, to David White. Oh, he's marked the ball on his back. <laughs> yeah, the umpire's paid it as well. <laughs> well, he, he travelled about 10 metres with the ball up on his neck. Up on his neck position and uh, David Wall and Paul Smith just uh, well, reading you know, each other also. Wall, he's being a little bit silly because they've got the football. Don't do anything that'll uh, change the umpire's mind. Get on with the business. David White's got it now. He's kicked one goal one this afternoon and they vitally need this one, Bell Post Hill. He's kicking from about 45, 50 metres out, 45 degree angle. No Should breeze to speak of here at Myers Reserve, which is uh, not like that. He comes in, great kick off the boot. It hasn't made the distance though. Pack develops all, oh, big mark in there, was it? Yes, it was paid too. And it was Batty. And a good change here from David Cook, I think. He looks a lot better at centre half four than he does at centre half back, Batty. And will line up from directly in front, five metres out, and should have no trouble in putting Bell Post still third goal on the board. He comes in now and kicks it straight through the middle. So, Batty's first goal and Bell Post still third. They go to three goals, 3-21. But they still trail Banny Byrne, who are 8 4 GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. And uh, Brett Rovere, our technical coordinator, just saying that that vision will be footy show delight of the uh, ball on the back of the neck by David White there. Push it up long, and Batty finish it off with a goal for the Panthers. Well, you'd have to say that's the mark of the day so far, because uh, a real trickster, David White, on that occasion, and uh, umpire acknowledging his efforts, uh, paying the mark and a half forward. Would have been nice for him to finish it off, but uh, Mick Batty did it for him. So uh, a handy goal for the Bell Post Hillside. Brings it up a little bit closer now, 21 pays 52, 31 points to the margin. Halfway through the second quarter. McClure taps it to Bartolo in the middle of the ground for Bell Post Hill. They go long. Batty comes out. Wentworth tries to trap it. They've got the numbers here, Bannock Burn. Smith goes across the, the half back line. Nathan Lewis, can he trap it? He can't do so. He can now at the second attempt. Can he get around Wayne College? A good tackle, dropping the ball. Good tackle, Wayne College, and half back. He'll relieve the pressure for Bannock Burn on the outer side. He's been a very consistent performer, Wayne College, here this afternoon, and uh, he's uh, stemmed another forward thrust. Uh, of uh, Bell Post Hill. His kick a little bit up, up and under on that occasion, but uh, it falls to Steve Winter, who uh, was well collared. Loose ball now sees Flanagan kick off the carpet. Under pressure there from Mickey Matchevic, the nose picker. Well done, son. But uh, Danny Byrne, with some good skill, Matty Pilgrim, who's been very quiet so far, finds Paul Smith. Actually went backwards, but Smith now drives the ball up the half forward. Stevie Dallahunt at the back of the pack said, thank you very much. It takes a great grab at half forward. The leg's on from Andrews, but cutting it off. Cameron Carr, good good vision from him to get back. Takes a bounce, runs across centre half back now, takes two bounces. Right foot kick, good kick too. Vision is good towards Nathan Lewis in the middle of the ground. He takes a bounce. They're doing it easy now. Belpo still poor handball though. He's going to set David Wall up. He's got a time to get away from Rowell. Has he? He does. Left foot kick long towards White. Good kick and David White takes it. David White now. Short little kick is good. Sean Lewis sits and waits and the youngster, well, he's done well so far. He's at late inclusion for Adam Kosick. And Sean Lewis has taken the mark and will kick from about 35 minutes out. Pretty acute angle. 
Doesn't take time. He comes in now. Right foot kick high towards the square. Getting back there. Good mark. Batty, was it? No, it wasn't. It was Stosic. And takes a good mark. Well, so the, uh, Stosic. the big boys uh, yeah. from the hill. Doing a little bit of a handful there for the uh, shorter defence of Nathan Rose on that occasion. Stosic comes in left foot and has kicked a goal. So good play from him. Good finish by Ant Stosic. And his first goal and the last two goals to Bell Post Hill. Just move them a little bit closer. They're four goals, 3-27. They trail Bannockburn 8-4-52 by 25 points on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. OK, the uh, ball coming back to the setup. Don't forget to get out to the GDFL bingo setup. You'll find them out there at White Eagle House, uh, Bellmuggers Road, Breakwater. But you always give them a call on 218 484 for a booking to see if you can be fortunate to win some, some cash prizes out there. Uh, afternoons kicking off at 12.15, evening 7.15 for late mini sessions. Umpire duty to get us away again. Bounce towards McClure. Ronnie Pilgrim takes it out of the ruck free. Kick found, and it's going to go for a push to Nathan McClure. And he's going to take it in the middle of the ground. A late push by Breed there. McClure to play on, gives it to Machevic. Right foot kick. Roweth in front of David Wall at halfback, and he takes the mark. Goes now to kick. Good kick to Flanagan, just inside the centre square. Right foot kick by him is sensational. Puts it out in front of Wayne Collier and takes a good mark at half forward. So as Brainy said, Wayne Collinger, a few possessions this afternoon on his wing and will line up. He's going to be about 45, in fact he could be 50 metres out and we'll have a good look at this. He'll run straight away from us. Wayne Collinger now hasn't kicked a goal this afternoon, comes in. Right foot kick goes close to the man on the mark as he made the distance. I think he might have. I think it's through. It is. Good kick, Wayne Collinger. And a quick reply. That's what Bannockburn needed. So Wayne Collinger's first and Bannockburn's ninth. They go to 9 4 58. They lead Bill Post Hill, who are 4 3 27 on the GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard. And we've been playing 20 minutes of this second quarter GDFL Bingo Centre. And uh, live and exclusive on 89.1 Country FM. Great uh, composure there shown by Wayne Collinger. Not an easy shot from goal. Uh, as you said, Jason, he was a good 45, uh, 50 metres out, 45 degree angle. And uh, shredded it straight through the centre. And uh, it just gives Paddy Burn that 30 point buffer. Back in the centre now, Breed gets it down to Ronnie Pilgrim. Back to Collinger. It's a training drill in the middle for Paddy Burn there. Back towards Dallahunt running with the flight of the ball and takes a good mark at centre half forward. Shane Andrews getting back into the goal square, but he elects to go back, Dallahunt, and have a kick for goal. And he's just getting instructions off the umpire where the mark actually is because Chris Kelly's gone back a couple of steps on it. And Della Hunt moved from the half-back line early in the first quarter. He's kicked one goal. He's playing at half forward now. You come in, kicking from about 40 metres out directly in front to put Bankburn's 10th goal on the board. He comes in now. Kick off the boot straight through the middle. No doubt about it. Della Hunt second. And all the hard work Bell Post still had the last five or six minutes been answered by two quick panic burn goals. They're 10 4 64, Bell Post Hill 4 3 27, GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Yeah, class of a good side, Jason, when you can uh, you can do that. And uh, 37 points is the biggest margin here this afternoon. And uh, well deserved panic burn, who, as you mentioned, uh, going through the centre of the ground as if it's a training drill. Very little pressure being applied uh, to the players with the football. And Bell Post Hill need to work a little bit harder. Back in the centre now, Breed and McClure. McClure will get the tap towards Spelljack. He does so, he can't trap it though. McClure, kick off the ground, out towards, running through the middle of the pack, Travail. Gives it to Sean Lewis, left foot kick around the corner. Bartolo has to sit and wait with Wentworth. Bartolo tries to grab it, can he? He's tackled by Wentworth, gets the, gets the uh, ball out, but the umpire has come in and said he will bounce it at centre-half forward. And Johnny Bartolo, Johnny Bartolo lost short, has lost the shorts. So there you go. And he's been sent off to get a new pair. So he's running off. And he, uh, he's getting the cheers of the crowd also. So there you go. Johnny Bartolo to be replaced by Drysdale. And uh, a bit of comic relief in the second quarter here. The GDFL match of the day. Johnny Bartolo to run past us now. And uh, has half his shorts there. And 
Uh, that's about it. It's still at centre half forward. Half forward. <laughs> so, the umpire will now bounce the ball down. He does so. And, oh, the umpire nearly gets crashed over by Breed. Big thump out towards but short. Can he trap it? He can't do so. It's trapped by David Wall. Left foot kick across centre half forward. Matty East goes out. Can he take the mark? He can't do so. Roving by Rolf. Sensational handball to Smith. Kick out wide towards Delahunt. Sets him a task. Chris Kelly against him. Kelly, good running by him. He runs back towards the ball. He gets wrapped up though now. He's got to get rid of the ball. He does so, dropping the ball. He was in possession. Steve Delahunt to take the free kick at half forward. And should be 50 metres if they're fair, Nigga. Well, they don't, they don't pay that... That 50 metre rule's never been paid properly for that anyway. Wasting time. So Steve Delahunt at half forward, the lead on from Andrews. He elects to go that way now. He hesitated, he kicks it towards Andrews. Can he take it? He can at the second attempt. It bounced off his chest and then he was able to take it at 50. He won't be able to kick that distance though because he's going to be kicking from about 60 metres out and, well, he is a good kick but he just tries to fraction hard on those longer kicks, Ronnie. So uh, he may find the distance... Just a little bit out of his reach. And just, be, and just because I've uh, said that, he'll probably put it straight through the middle. Yeah. Well, yeah, this will test him. Just doing up the boot lace now is uh, the trainer, Shane Andrews. The goal kicker for the Bannockburn side. Hitting the tables for the uh, Geelong District Football League so far with 24. And uh, he's uh, let's have a look, kick one already. His uh, attempt this time is, as you called it, Jason, Went to the right to a left forward pocket. Didn't quite make the distance. And uh, some nice defence there for the Panthers. And I think you'll find uh, young Gibbs is on the ground for the Belfast hillside. And uh, he was happy to get it to the boundary line for throw in about 45 metres from the Bannockburn goal. Breed goes up with Feljack in the ruck. So that was a bit of a non-contest there. But Feljack did well to push the ball back out of bounds and another boundary throw in. So 4-3, 27 plays, 10-4, 64. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Close to half time. We've been playing 24 and a half minutes in this second quarter, so close to time on. Gets it out, Jared Breed. Good tap out towards Matty East. Close to the boundary line. Won't be able to keep it in. And a boundary throw in about 15 minutes around from the Bannockburn goal. So the Panthers defence will have to work hard here. Boundary throw in now. Breed up over the back was Christian Shaw. Pack develops there. Quick little kick out. Clinton Shaw's there also. Belpo still do well, though, to push it. Around a further 10 metres, so it's going to be a boundary throw in about 25 around from the Bannockburn goal. Yes, the ball uh, on that outer side of the ground just plays a little flat at the present time. Breed up against McClure. Back of the pack there, high fly was Delahunt, but a ground level spell Jack does well for the Belfast Hill side. Looks there to Nathan Lewis, but in front, Wayne Colliger does well. Support there from Butch Shaw, who got around his opponent well. Steady's from 45, the kick, a good one. Back of the pack there was Andrews, couldn't take the footy. Try to kick off the uh, carpet there was uh, Matty Lewis. Goes in hard after the ball again. Support there was from uh, Mickey Majovic. Get it across the wall, hand pass, or oh, puts Veljek under pressure. Well done, Tommy, kicks off the carpet. Will it sit down for young Sean Lewis? It might, but a great tackle there on uh, Paul Smith, the assistant coach for the Bannockburn side. Was held without the footy, and uh, the Bannockburn assistant coach in Paul Smith gets the free kick at centre wing. Smith now to drive Bannockburn deep into attack. The lead on from Andrews, and Clinton Shaw also there. Over the back of the pack, first to recover is Haby. Tripped over by Flanagan there. Still got the numbers, Bannockburn. Butch Shaw, kick off the ground by Machevic, only as far as Winter. Can he pick it up at half forward? The pressure from Machevic. Oh, that's a throw. No, not paid. Getting across half forward. Back towards Wayne College. Has to get around Spelljack. Handball to Matty Pilgrim, who's been pretty quiet this afternoon for Bannockburn. Poor kick. Nathan McClure. Right foot kick out towards Nathan Lewis. Troy College are getting back there. He's been quiet in the second quarter. Sean Lewis pushed off the ball by Ralph. He can't pick it up, though. Back there, Troy College. Are close to the boundary line. He just runs ambles after it and sees the ball over the boundary line. Good pressure again. Both sides working hard for the footy. Boundary line again winning out on this occasion. Throw in. Nathan Lewis gets a tap out in the end. Breed gets a second tap back to only as far as Feljack. Right foot kick is a good one. One out there. Good mark. Feldman lost his footing and then took the mark. But uh, looks a little bit injured there, I'd say, Feldman. But he gets up, takes his kick. With the lead on from White. Smith stands his ground. White leads, takes the mark. Great footy. Yeah, good footy. Over the top of Johnny Bartolo. Short to centre-half forward. And David White takes the mark. 
And uh, he'll have a chance to put his second goal on the board and Bell Post stills fifth. And it'll be a, it'll be a good one close to half time. He comes in now. Kick off the boots. A good one straight through the middle as it made a distance. It's holding up. Mark in the square. Stosic not paid. No. Play on the call. Continues. <laughs> Confusion between the goal umpire and central umpire there. Kick long out towards half back. Wayne Colliger on his own. Taps the ball on the ground and can set something up for Bannockburn now. Long. Up towards Miller. Lewis also there. In the middle of the pack there was Shaw. Gets back there. Chris Kelly. Right foot kick around the corner. Corey Flanagan goes up. Can't take the uncontested mark. Goes to college. That's Wayne. Back to Paul Smith. Cross half back. The lead's on over. Put Shaw's head towards the boundary line. Can Miller keep it in? Him and East will see the ball over in front of the scoreboard here. Well, just going back to that mark that I think it was the big fella Stosic took. Should have been paid. Should have been. Fell to the ground with the ball in his hands, but not paid. Breed gets the tap out. Turns around the corner. Flanagan, right foot kick. Good vision and good play by Paul Miller to get back there in front and take the mark at half back. Paul Miller now, not a lot of uh, alternatives, so he's forced to try the big spiral torpedo. Get hold of it nicely, too, he does. Gets it up there in between the centre wing and half back. But again, Christian Shaw, who's been busy in the second quarter for the Fanny Burns side. On this occasion, he's kicked a long one, but it's just off the side of his boot and uh, bounces just inside the boundary line in the left. Yeah, well, forward pocket, I suppose, just uh, between half forward and forward pocket as the siren sounds to terminate a, uh, well, a very entertaining second quarter here at Myers Reserve between Bell Postal and Bannockburn and uh, Jason, well, a good quarter for, Bell, uh, for Bannockburn. It certainly was. They kicked four goals, three in that quarter to be 10-4-64 at half time, and Bell Postal kicked two goals, one to be 4-4-28. So the lead is an even six goals for Bannockburn at half time. The goal kick is for the Tigers. Three to Troy Colliger all in the first quarter. Steve Delahunt has two and Ron Pilgrim has two. And singles to Shane Andrews, Wayne Colliger and Clinton Shaw. While for Bell Post Hill, they're all singles as well. Michael Batty, Brett Feldman, David White and Ant Stothic. So a comfortable lead to Bannockburn at half time. Yes, certainly was... Uh a, a very comfortable, is a comfortable lead for the Tigers. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, Bell Post Hill, they've got uh, some shiny lights. David White's been busy. Brett Feldman, David Wall, midfield. Uh, young Nathan Lewis has been terrific. Likewise, Sean. And, uh, yeah, so I just can't quite get the ball past their half-forward line on a more regular basis. Because if they did, I'm sure that they'd be uh, getting some good results because they've got Batty up there now and Stosic, two big boys, who have taken some fine marks in that second quarter, both resulting from good goals. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what moves the uh, coach, David Cook, comes up with at half-time from a Bell Post point of view and see if they can bridge the gap in this uh, next third quarter. 36 points of difference at half-time. Bannockburn leading the GDFL match of the day. Round six here at Myers Reserve. Over